Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex. Welcome if you're a replay viewer. I'm just like multitasking for a few seconds while we wait and, and see if the notifications will go out. But I have a tip for teachers tonight. So, um, hi Brandy. Hey David. Good evening. I am trying to like do a little trick here. Hey Diane. Welcome. Cool. All right. I think some notifications have gone out. Hope you guys all had a good weekend and got to do some fun things, at least around here. Diane knows we finally have started to have some nice weather. So that was a super plus, super plus for this weekend. Cool. Okay. Are you high-fiving me? Hey. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I have a... Um, yeah, I got a new haircut. I got a new haircut this weekend. That was my big activity. I am not so good with all the emojis. I want to know what this emoji is. So if you guys are watching and you know what this emoji is, you can tell me. And sometimes there's like little lines coming out. Reminds me kind of the applause, but it's like this. So I don't know what that emoji is. But I have a tip for you. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. All right, it's like a super high five. All right, so I have a teacher tip for you. So um, I have all my students' parents on an email list. By the way, I should start by saying I know some of you guys know me, but in case you're watching the replay and don't, my name is Bex. Um, okay, good. Your guess is as good as mine. My blog is Reading and Writing Redhead, and I also create resources for teachers under the Reading and Writing Redhead on Teachers Pay Teachers. I teach second grade. So this is a tip I got from my experience. So I have all my students' parents on an email list. I have phone numbers. Um, I am required, pretty much required, to have a classroom blog, which gets very, very little traffic. So a few years ago, I ran across this idea for sending private text messages, um, like confidenti confidentially, to students' parents for important reminders and brandy. You are a mind reader because that is what I am talking about. It's now renamed and it's now called um, Remind. They took off the 101. Okay. All right. Good to know, Diane. Good to know, Diane. I feel a little bit smarter. All right. So it is It is uh, Remind is the name of it. And just go to remind.com. I'm going to flip it around and actually give you a little sneak peek. So for a couple of you who might not know it, let's take a look. Okay, so um, I don't know. You're not going to be able to look, uh, get too super a view here from just looking through my phone at my computer. But um, once you sign up for, from Remind 101, it sends your students' parents text messages, but not from your phone. Your phone is not involved. You just really, I don't even think I even included a phone number. Um, I just use my school email address and my name when signing up. So um, here, let me show you how people can join. Okay, wait, not that way. So um, you can print out a PDF. Okay, so you can print out a PDF. Let's check it out. And the PDF gives pretty clear instructions. The parents need to text this phone number. And in the body of the text message, put the at sign and your class code. So this is just an example. So I just put in like, in mine, I think I made an example list and just put one example. All right, so that you can download that PDF, print it out for everybody so they get a hard copy. All right, you can send this email link. Also, see that's the class code. You would probably have a more normal code like Mrs. Jones's class or something. All right, um, you can directly, like if someone gives you their telephone number and says, put me on your remind list or use their email, you can just type them in right here. And I haven't actually looked at this. Oh, okay, so this would work. Good evening. This would work if you teach older students. So I teach second grade. So I, my class, I'm not going to tell my students to text me. It's their parents who are texting me. But I talked to a dad um, a year or two ago whose son was in high school. 
and his teacher actually used this to text reminders and information to him. So that was pretty cool. And then once you get in there, so let's click um, send a message. So I am just going to make this quick. You can type like, oh, just a reminder, school spirit day is tomorrow. Wear your school colors, right? Then you can either send it right away or what I do, schedule. Okay, so you pick exactly when you want it to be sent out. And I strategically have the reminders usually go out either around dinner time or right after dinner time because I feel like that's when parents will be able to like get their kids ready for whatever I'm reminding them about. It's usually just school spirit day. Occasionally I'll send like a reminder like the prod homework project is due on this day. To be honest, I haven't tried out these. All right, so I guess if you wanna just message a few people on your list or individuals, you can do that too. That might be good if like you're, you know, certain people forgot their field trip permission slips, you can do that. If they're not responding to emails or handwritten notes. No. Good question, Diane. So people cannot respond. So there's no, res and actually I tried that out. I tested it myself. You can see like, actually you can't tell, but I joined my own list and I tested it and I got a message back. Sorry, you cannot reply or something like that. So that's actually probably good because I wouldn't want to manage people replying back to me. So they should send an email or handwritten note or call you if they have a question about your your note. So, okay, and then actually you can see, look, there I am. I'm the owner and I signed myself up for this list. So this is, again, if you're just joining me, it's Remind. The website is remind.com and it's a way for you to send confidential private text messages that will go right to your students. Sorry, right to your students' parents' phone. Um, I teach young kids, or if you teach older students, I suppose you can send text messages right to their phone. So check it out. It's free. It's free, which is like amazing. And it's easy to use. And one way I used it was I took our school spirit schedule and went through it for the entire year and typed in reminders and scheduled them out so parents would get reminders the day before, sent right to their cell phones about the school spirit day. So I think it's pretty handy. It's definitely worth it if you're looking for something new to try. And if you missed the beginning of this, I'm Bex from Reading and Writing Redhead. You can always watch the replay on Periscope or go to catch, K-A-T-C-H dot me. And I'm, at RW Redhead, and you can watch it there if you can't get to it in the next 24 hours. Thanks for the hearts. Great, have a good night, guys. Take care, bye.